Hi, my name is Jessica Maganet. I'm 21 years old and I'm from Montreal, Quebec. I was involved in the Sierra Youth Coalition from 2009 to 2011. In my last year, I was the chair of the XCOM. And even though I haven't been involved um, on the XCOM since then, I've also been um, a proud member of the Sierra Youth Coalition subsequently and also have benefited from the Education Fund, um, which helped me fundraise for a bike trip in uh, the Yukon last summer. So I got involved with the Sierra Youth Coalition when uh, Yuri Cormier was the national director and he um, came to speak at my high school at an environmental conference I organized and at the end of the conference he told me about the organization and really encouraged me to get involved and Yuri and I are still great friends and I'm really happy that I followed his advice then. Um, I have a lot of really wonderful memories from my time on the XCOM um, I could think of one in particular. I have a really happy memory of one of the SYC XCOM retreats. Um, I guess it was in 2010 and we were all sitting in the kitchen of another XCOM member, Maggie Knight. We were eating homemade pizza and we weren't talking business anymore, but we're just talking about our lives and what we really cared about. And I just had the experience of being part of such an incredible community. Um, I was part of a lot of projects when I was a member of the XCOM, but I think the one that stayed with me the most and that I had the most fun contributing to um, was everything related to strategic planning for the organization. So thinking about like what XCOM's role is, what type of space we want to create for youth in Canada to be powerful environmental leaders, and really what I learned as a member of XCOM about strategic planning, I've brought to a bunch of other environmental organizations subsequently. It was a really wonderful experience for me. Um, the Sierra Youth Coalition influenced my life in many, many ways, probably mostly by putting me in touch with people who I've stayed close with and really getting me in touch with an incredible network of youth who are passionate about the environment in Canada. Um, it was as a participant on the XCOM that I learned about Students on Ice, an organization that organizes trips to the Arctic um, that are oriented around environmental education and that's how I, I ended up participating in one of the expeditions um, and through that expedition I ended up going to the Rio Plus 20 Earth Summit um, as an advocate for the polar regions and I also ended up uh, becoming a member of Grassroots Biking, which is a youth organization that organizes bike trips um, and raises funds for environmental causes. So it really got me tapped into a fantastic network of other people who share my passion and uh, really great people to collaborate with. It was also a really fantastic experience for me um, in my own personal development as a leader. I really learned how to hire people, how to interview people, how to lead an organization at a really young age. And I think it's so fantastic that SYC takes that, I don't want to say risk exactly, but it is, has that um, belief and passion for young people that they'll really give them huge responsibilities and give them the space to uh, really take charge on issues that directly affect them. Um, the Sierra Youth Coalition means to me a network of youth in Canada devoted to environmental issues and what's really so incredible about it is that it's run by youth so it's really a space for us to take charge of issues that directly affect us and that's really special. My words of wisdom to share with other SYC youth leaders is to um, just appreciate how special the organization you're part of is. Um, to go to SYC events and make sure that you're in touch with as many members as possible and as many other participants um, to keep fighting the good fight because it can be a bit of a downer in Canada to be fighting this fight right now. And to, I think maybe one thing I wish I had known when, that, I, when I was a leader at SYC is there were so many things that were new to me that I didn't feel prepared for and just to know that that's okay that you're with a bunch of other people who are figuring this out with you and to take it as an experience that you get to learn from. Um, just some other thoughts I'd love to share 
are that I love SYC so much. I'm so proud that this organization exists. I'm so proud of the people who I volunteered for this organization with and people who are now volunteering for it uh, because I told them about it. I just think you guys do the best stuff and you work very, very hard and definitely deserve to be acknowledged for that.